in your office complex. <laughs> and thanks for joining us. In the event of a fire during tonight's presentation, please follow these simple evacuation procedures. Do not be alarmed. For your safety, move quietly to the exit nearest you. All exits are clearly marked with a red, illuminated sign. Evacuation should be conducted in a calm, controlled manner, beginning with the first row, second, third, and so forth. Hot dogs! Keep your head as low as possible to avoid smoke inhalation. You may also use a handkerchief to cover the mouth and nose. Please place your own handkerchief before assisting children. If flames are blocking your designated exit, move to the next exit nearest you. Or the next. Or the next. And so forth. If your clothing should catch fire, pat your body from the shoulders downward. <laughs> pat, pat, pat. <laughs> you may also lie down and roll to extinguish the flames. Roll, roll, roll. Find his heart. <laughs> Hurry. 
welcome back. <laughs> if flames should appear on the carpet, step directly on the burning spot repeatedly. Step, step, step. <laughs> this theater is equipped with the latest safety devices, including an automatic sprinkling system, which, in the event of fire, will be triggered automatically. Thank you, and enjoy the rest of the show. <laughs> and getting up to leave. She remembered a confused expression on Gary's face. She did not remember falling. Claire wondered if Gary would use her desk. She was embarrassed at what he might find in her top drawer. Claire's mother drove her home from the hospital, then made her lunch. After she left, Claire cried. Aside from the visits of her mother, she had received a card from the office. That was all. Now she lie on the couch with an open book, thinking about the last nine years. The office had been her whole life, yet she hardly knew the names of the people she worked with, and they didn't know her. Still, one name and one face kept appearing to her. Stephen. <laughs> Are you choking? Can you breathe? When applying the international Heimlich technique, wrap your arms around your victim's abdomen. Making a fist, and with your thumbs pointed upward, give a sharp thrust into the area just below the rib cage. <laughs> Repeat as is necessary. Please, for safety reasons, do not practice on a human being. <laughs> Claire didn't really know Stephen, but now that he was gone, she missed his quiet nature. It wouldn't be right to ask about a retired typesetter and personnel. Claire lay on the couch all day, and despite doctor's orders, decided to return to work on Monday. And in celebration of her recovery, Claire decided to do something that she had never done before. She would go to a mall. It would do her good to walk. Claire browsed at the latest fashions in a dress shop window, then bought a bag of popcorn by the marble wishing pond. <laughs> After another half hour of window shopping, Claire began to feel tired, and there was an annoying popcorn kernel scratching her throat. <laughs> Thank you. 